High flying, low price thrills next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for April 16th. We go fly a kite in the second half of the show, but first, let's take a look at news. In the Here Comes the Sun department, Yarmouth's town hall has become the first on Cape Cod to tap the power of King Saul. 60 solar panels on the roof could save the town about $3,000 a year in energy costs. In the Davy Jones locker department, a 40-foot scallop boat capsized yesterday at McMillan Wharf in Provincetown. No one was aboard the northern approach when it took on water, and containment booms limited the spread of leaking fuel. In the there's a place for us department, a Centerville man is negotiating for permission to use about 10 acres of land in Hyannis for dirt bike riding, which would be the only legal place to ride off-road vehicles on the Cape. Rob Anderson also hopes to form a private non-profit riding club. Hey folks, for less than $3, Cape Cast had a gigantic thrill yesterday at West Dennis Beach. One of the things we stand for here at Cape Cast is good, cheap fun. And that's why today we're at West Dennis Beach to fly a kite, a cheap kite. We went over to Benny's and spent $2.99 on the Care Bears Play All Day Kite. Nothing fancy, we just want to have a good time. And I'm sure it's easy to assemble. All right, you put the spar in the grommet. No, that's not the grommet. Of course, grommet was my nickname in high school. Now we are attempting to put the string clip through the grommet hole. And that's a clean family activity. We have it attached, and I think that's about it. All right, then, let's see if this thing will go airborne. I read in this month's Kite Guy magazine that a simple twist of the wrist is the way to get a kite into the air. Here we go. All right, well, we're getting some wild activity here. Oh, oh, yeah. This is awesome. All right, now we're letting a little string out. Want to be careful with a kite. You know, it's more than just a toy. It's a flying toy. <laughs> wow, this is surprisingly easy and pretty cool. I don't even have to look. Look at this. Look at that. I'm putting my hand over my eyes. Well, this is surprisingly easy. The wind working in my favor, so I'll attempt some of the more advanced things you might not want to try yourself. Here we go with the peg leg. This is perfected by Barbary Coast Pirates, not seen on the east coast of America for several decades. Now moving into the Nadja Komenich. Oh, that's a perfect 10. And now we will attempt the Dick Van Dyke. Ow. Of course, back during the Depression, Cape Codders couldn't afford these fancy kites. They had to make do with what they had. Here's Ebenezer Eldridge in his sock in 1934. All right, come on, Betty. Ah, oh, this wind's picking up. I lost a kite like this in the Galapagos. Come on. Oh, the humanity. Oh. Oh. Oh, every once in a while, one of these will bite back. Often I'll scare the locals by creating a kite eclipse, sending them screaming into their cottages. This by far is the most fun I've had for under three dollars since they closed that all-you-can-eat boiled egg stand in Centerville. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast back by Wellfleet Harbor Video. For tonight, clear with a low around 34. For Thursday, sunny with a high near 54. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for April 16th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast. Some wonder about the origin of the Care Bears. Well, like many Americans, uh, they were immigrants from Baristan who came over as hard-working cobblers in the 1920s and then just bred like rabbits.